Welcome to one of the most impressive livestock operations in the region, a modern thousand-head cattle and pig farm where advanced agriculture meets traditional care. At the heart of this facility is a 2,800 sow unit, a large-scale pig breeding center designed for efficiency, biosecurity, and animal welfare. These sows are the backbone of the operation, each producing litters in clean, climate-controlled farrowing pens. Precision feeding systems ensure every animal receives the right nutrition, adjusted to its stage of growth, while automatic waste management keeps the environment clean and hygienic. Every step is carefully monitored by trained professionals, including producers like Jens and Steve, dedicated farmers who represent the face of sustainable British pork production. Their deep understanding of animal husbandry, paired with modern technology, ensures that pigs are raised humanely and healthily from birth through to finishing. Nearby, the cattle unit houses over a thousand head of beef and dairy cows. Inside expansive barns, cows are grouped by age and production stage. Young calves are cared for in individual pens and bottle-fed with nutrient-rich milk. Older cows graze on specially formulated rations that promote healthy growth, milk yield, and strong immune systems. Both pig and cattle facilities emphasize animal welfare. Automated climate controls keep temperatures stable year-round, reducing animal stress. Veterinary teams conduct routine health checks, while data collected from RFID tags helps monitor growth rates, feed efficiency, and overall performance. What sets this operation apart is not just its scale, but its commitment to sustainability and transparency. Renewable energy sources, such as biogas from manure, help power the farm. Waste is recycled as fertilizer for nearby crops. And thanks to traceability systems, consumers can follow the journey from farm to fork. Through partnerships with food retailers like Co-op, these producers help meet growing demand for responsibly raised meat. Initiatives like Meet the Producer allow the public to see exactly where their food comes from and who is behind it. This is modern farming in action, large in size, but focused on care, quality, and sustainability. With passionate farmers, smart infrastructure, and a deep respect for animals, the Thousand Head Cow and Pig Farm represents the future of agriculture. In modern pig farming, artificial insemination is a key method for ensuring genetic quality and farm efficiency. The process begins with strict biosecurity protocols. Workers disinfect their boots, hands, and equipment before entering the insemination area to prevent disease transmission. Sows are carefully selected based on signs of heat, like restlessness, swollen vulva, or standing reflex. Once identified, the sow is gently restrained to reduce movement and stress. A pre-warmed insemination catheter is lubricated and slowly inserted into the sow's cervix. In many systems, a foam-tipped catheter is used to prevent backflow and improve comfort. Semen, collected and diluted under sterile lab conditions, is introduced through the catheter. Technicians use a slow, steady technique to ensure maximum absorption. Post-cervical insemination, delivering semen directly past the cervix, is common in high-performance farms for greater efficiency. Timing is critical. 
Insemination is typically done 12 to 24 hours after the sow shows heat, and repeated every 12 hours until she no longer exhibits signs. Once insemination is complete, the sow is left to rest in a calm, clean pen. All equipment is cleaned or disposed of properly to maintain hygiene. Artificial insemination allows farms to use top genetics while minimizing the need to house boars. It's efficient, cost-effective, and when done correctly, highly successful. Step inside one of the world's most advanced pork processing facilities, where technology, efficiency, and strict hygiene protocols come together to feed millions. Inside the slaughterhouse, automation plays a critical role. From stunning to bleeding, every step is optimized for speed and sanitation. Workers operate alongside high-speed conveyor belts, guided by sensors and safety systems to reduce physical strain and ensure consistency. Once carcasses are cleaned and split, the pork moves through chilling tunnels, halting bacterial growth. Then comes the breakdown process. Automated cutters and robotic arms carve the meat into specific cuts trimmed to meet exact retail or export specifications. Each piece is inspected, weighed, labeled, and vacuum sealed under strict USDA standards. From there, it's packed, palletized, and rapidly cooled for distribution. Throughout the process, the facility uses traceability systems, temperature monitoring, and ISO-certified environmental practices to ensure quality, sustainability, and safety. It's a highly coordinated operation, where animal care, food science, and cutting-edge engineering come together on an industrial scale. How traditional Spanish Serrano ham is made the journey begins with carefully selected white pig breeds such as Duroc or Landrace. Their hind legs are chosen for quality, size, and the perfect balance of meat and fat. Each fresh leg typically weighs around 9 to 10 kilograms and is immediately trimmed and inspected before the curing process begins. The first major step is salting. These hams are buried in sea salt for about one to two weeks, depending on weight. This phase is critical. It draws out moisture and acts as a natural preservative. Once salted, the legs are rinsed and moved to a cool resting chamber, where they stay for several weeks. Here, the salt continues to distribute evenly throughout the meat, setting the stage for flavor development. Next comes the drying and curing stage, traditionally done in mountain air but now often controlled in modern drying rooms called secaderos. Over the course of six to nine months, the temperature gradually rises from a cool six degrees to over 30. As the fat melts slowly into the muscle fibers, the ham begins to develop its signature aroma and deep, savory taste. The final stage is maturation. The hams are moved to a cellar or bodega, where they rest in stable, cool conditions for several more months, sometimes over a year. It's during this time that the flavors deepen and mature. Depending on the aging time, Serrano hams are labeled as bodega, reserva, or gran reserva. To ensure quality, an experienced ham master uses a long bone needle to pierce the ham and assess its readiness by scent alone, a skill passed down through generations.
The result? A rich, marbled ham with a delicate balance of sweetness and salt, an intense aroma, and a melt-in-your-mouth texture. Every slice tells a story of time, tradition, and Spanish culinary pride. This is the art of making serrano ham. Simple, natural, and perfected through patience. 